lift and liberate the world. Now, the way that we do that comes down to our priorities. And our number one priority is the health and well-being of our distributors. Now, this is a written mission statement inside our team. And because of this, I remember standing one, next to one of our leaders when a team member walked up and said, you know, we've had some amazing health issues hit our family, and I'm not sure that I can go to this next thing, whatever the, you know, there was something coming up that they couldn't go to because of some significant health reasons. And my leader looked at her and said, the health and well-being of our distributors is our number one priority. And that's when I realized that our mission had made impact because it had transferred from just me to someone else and it became a culture. Isn't that awesome? A single phrase. Now here's the next one. We develop great and powerful leaders. How many of you have ever been to one of our events where we've called somebody up and said, you are a great and powerful leader? Three people! <laughs> All right, at least a dozen of you. Well, that's awesome. Well, again, it's reinforcement of the culture, right? What do we do inside of our community? Well, for us, if you understand our mission, if you understand what our quest is, you want to become a great and powerful leader, right? Because you are then a critical piece. You're a critical piece to the future. You're a critical piece to what happens now. You're a critical piece of whether or not there's enough horsepower in the quest to actually make something happen. And then as we go about our work, we empower every home with essential oils. Now think about a statement like that. And I just moved into a neighborhood, and of course, I go across the street, and they ask what I do, and I say I'm in doTERRA, and they say, oh yeah, our mother-in-law does that, right? And then I go to the next thing, and, and they, they say, yeah, we love our oils, because we get them from my sister, <laughs> right? They start to get that impression, right? Now if I was not of this mindset, I would say to myself, my neighborhood is saturated. However, I understand that that is not our mission. What I hear, rather than lack, is I hear that our mission has made impact. And literally, every home in our neighborhood is receiving oils. That is powerful. And I'm not the least bit concerned about that because our mission and quest is not about me. It's about making sure that homes and individuals and people have the oils. And so if you run into somebody else and they're working with somebody else and you're like, that is great because you are part of the quest. You're becoming part of the overarching community. You will become part of the greater purpose and quest that we get as we get bigger and bigger. doTERRA is already fulfilling a lot of these things through healing hands and different things like that. Healing hands and Mentors International. A lot of these big quest things are already being done by the company. And it's amazing. And so every home that's using oils is another life that's saved. Not just from the person that's using the oils, but because they bought the oils. Because they bought the oils, some family in a third world country eats. Some farm is able to bring back their generational kids back from the city because now it's viable to produce. Some city is revived because there's new economy because another home has essential oils. And so when we get beyond ourselves and we get to the point where we understand the quest, then it doesn't matter because the goal is for them to have the oils. The goal is not for you to get them the oils. The goal is for them to have them, right? And if that becomes part of your culture, suddenly you feel awesome because everything you're doing has purpose. And it's not about the lack, it's about the abundance. Because you know, once you're silver in this company, 
Like you actually get paid on everything. Did you know that? Everything that everybody does anywhere in the world, you're paid a part of that. And so it's awesome. It's awesome. All right. Where this really hit home to me, and this is where I want to leave this message, is I um, periodically, I've, I've been engaged in the fight a long time. And some of you have probably been engaged in the fight for a long time, right? How many people have been in the fight now for six plus years? Okay, handful of people, right? That's a long time to be in the fight. It's a long time. And so during that period of time, you probably have points where, again, you wonder, why do I do this? Why am I doing this? Where is it taking me? Where is it going uh, for all these things? And then, you know, I'd kind of lost sight. I'd kind of lost sight of where we were going. I kind of turned into a routine. I got, got more into managing what was happening more than progressing what was happening. And this happens in cycles, it happens to all of us. But I was sitting reviewing this mission statement. And I was going over it and over it and over it. It's like the health and well-being of our distributors is our number one priority. Well, if I'm engaged, if my purpose is the health and well-being of the people that I introduce to oils, that is fulfillment. And then I thought, develop great and powerful leaders. And I thought about that for a while. I go, what happens when I develop a great and powerful leader? What happens when I pull somebody up and they have great new skills and they're able to lead people and they're able to see vision and they're able to orchestrate that vision into a plan and they're able to influence it into action? What happens when I create that person? Anything can happen when you create that person. When you create that kind of person, laws change, governments change, communities change, housing and HOAs change, <laughs> right? School boards change, right? Your kids change. Everything changes when you develop great and powerful leaders. And if I can spark that even in one person, if I could create one great and powerful leader, fortunately I've created dozens. Right. But even if I had only created one, the impact of that would be amazing. My entire life would be extraordinarily worthwhile. And I thought, essential oils in every home, is that important? Is it important that people have oils? And, you know, and I, I have people come to me and they talk about all of their discomforts and body systems that are not functioning properly. Right? They talk about their feelings, and then they explain the transformation that has occurred. Any of you that have been in doTERRA probably for two plus years have probably seen the miracle of oils, right? When I, when I think about it or try to define the impact that the oils and the products from doTERRA have had on our life, it's extremely difficult to define because it's so profound. How do you explain what it's like to have less pain or to no longer be suffocating at night or no longer having issues in your skin system? <laughs> <laughs> or whatever the thing is, but some magic. And if it wasn't you, it was somebody that you touched with the oils. Some magic occurred. And I thought, how important is it? And as I was thinking about these things, I got my own inspiration. And it was, this mission is what it is about. It's about the people you lift. It's about the people you liberate. It's about the families you empower. And there is few causes that are greater than this. And then I understood that I need to be presidential diamond. It's not 
about whether I want to be presidential diamond. The world needs me to be presidential diamond because if I'm not, our quest will not happen. And what would the world look like then? If your quest did not happen, what would it look like then? And what would it look like if it happened? If it became real? If you manifested something, even this event was manifested, it was an idea a long time ago, an idea, and today you're sitting in its reality. Right? Today you're sitting in its reality. Desiree had an idea of a book. It was an idea, and it took a motivating moment to get her to push, to have the motivation to move into it. And when she stepped into it, Today, it's manifested, it's reality, it's not even an idea anymore, it's real, it's tangible, it's there. And so the idea that you can have a quest or an idea that you can have a vision or the idea that you can create something, you can take that from an idea to reality. The moment it moves from your head to your heart. And that is what happened to me when I received that message, is I was reading through our mission statement, and it no longer came from my mind wanting to be presidential then. <coughs> it went to my heart and recognizing that I have to be presidential then. And by that evening, four people that want to build the business had talked to me. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And I realized that that is one of the fundamental shifts that has to occur is your ability to attract is when your ideas go from your head to your heart, right? And you actually feel the purpose and the drive of what you're trying to create and you understand the importance of it. And so, we would like to dismiss all of you this evening and hope that you, if you have not defined your own mission, if you have not decided what your culture is, that you would model ours, okay? I invite you to steal it, okay? I invite you to say that your quest is to lift and liberate the world. I invite you to make your teams and your customers and their health and well-being your number one priority. And I invite you to take the skills that you've learned today and create and develop great and powerful leaders. And I invite you to adopt the mindset that it's important for every home to have essential oils. All right, thanks. <laughs>